What is going on guys, it's Fuzz Hardware here and today I'll be giving you 10 tips on how to save battery life on your Nexus 5 or any other smartphone on the Android version 5 or 5.1. Uh, you can see which Android version you have by quickly going into your settings and if it would focus and well, I'll just turn down the brightness and then go down to the bottom and go on about phone and keep on tapping on Android version and here you'll be able to see that you have a lollipop so first tip is um, go into your uh, settings and go locate your battery settings and find what is your biggest battery drainer in I think 9 or 10 out of 10 cases the screen will be on top but randomly mine has got mo mobile standby on top which is not usually there but I think it's because I'm charging at the moment but basically the screen is uh, the number one uh, battery drain source of smartphones therefore it's important to keep your smartphone uh, screen brightness to the minimum so basically here on the Nexus 5 you have a quick uh, access bar to to um, to change it quickly so keep it on as low as possible as you can handle and go into your settings and go into display settings and here you'll be able to see adaptive brightness at the top and make sure this is turned off you'll think on would be better but it isn't because on turns on a sensor which locates uh, what kind of um, brightness there is in your environment so how much sun or if it's dark and then it changes the whole time and uses um, loads of battery so don't do that um, second thing is uh, second tip is to turn off uh, to make sure your sleep is on as low as possible so in this case it's 30 minutes just to record this video but as soon as I'm done I'll put it on 15 seconds to make sure your uh, screen brightness is off I mean your screen is turned off as much as possible yeah so you'll be able to use your phone for a longer time with one um, battery charge um, also this daydream underneath turn that off you don't need that that's just um, yeah just battery drain battery drains bad so we don't want that third tip is the usual things that you use a lot basically here you can use one of these shortcut bars which comes with this phone anyway or you can um, just quickly um, drag down this uh, shortcut menu and basically whenever you're not using your Wi-Fi Bluetooth um, 3G or or a um, whatever you use look um, or your location or anything like that make sure that's always turned off um, together with your um, the, the, the sync uh, make sure the sinks also turned off only if you need it keep it on of course and then as soon as you're done turn it off again if you can't be bothered to keep on remembering this there's a good application out there which is on the App Store which is free and it's called Juice Defender and basically you just enable it and here you have um, some profiles which you can choose out of you've got aggressive balance extreme customize, uh, customize and all that but I think uh, extreme customize and advance are for the pro version so just keep it on balanced I've had the pro version and it doesn't make that much difference keep it on balanced if you go on aggressive you're gonna get really really frustrated with your Wi-Fi suddenly turning off all the time and you're gonna have to enable it by um, yeah dragging down the menu and tapping on the notification that's how you enable or you're disabled uh, here we go here we can it's already turned off my data so if I tap on that it will go on again so basically I'm gonna disable that for the rest of the video but this is a good application to use to disable all your all your yeah your battery draining features on your phone so the next tip is turn off OK Google I've already got it turned off at the moment but basically I will show you uh, here wait I'll just turn it on quickly um, so basically yeah you know what OK Google is OK Google, there that's that thing that pops up all the time when you say OK Google and this is basically uh, keeping a detector in your microphone which is waiting for you to say the combination of OK Google and then yeah this thing happens so basically you don't want to have that happening um, so go and head over to your Google settings which can be seen here uh, once you've gone into Google settings uh, type tap on search and now which can be found here and once on search and now go on to voice and OK Google detection is the second one in, in line and then just disable that at the top tip number five is disable your Google Now cards so if you're not using them it's one of those features that Google's put on all Google Nexus's uh, if you swipe to the left on your um, on your main menu um, here you can see basically what um, Now cards is, it's basically giving you all the latest updates about all um, stuff you might need but at the end of the day you don't really need them and it just uses a lot more battery so if you don't want to use it head over to Google settings uh, search and now which can be found at the bottom 
and then um, voice again no what am I doing now cards and then just disable that and delete everything and just turn it off and now when you swipe to the left you won't be able to see it anymore and now you'll be able to enjoy your phone for a lot longer so the next tip is get rid of any users on your phone so in my case I don't have any but in on the top right you can see your, yourself and here you'll be able to see some other users if you have any other users basically yeah if you don't trust anyone seeing your history and all that just go in incognito or go into an um, put a pattern lock so that no one can get onto your phone but just delete all the users you can delete the users by going onto them first so I'm just gonna create the uh, guest and then it says yeah it's switching to guest once it's on guest or on the user you want to delete you go in here and then you see remove guest so yeah just remove that and there we go that's deleted uh, tip number seven uh, delete your animations so animations is basically when you tap on something no that's a bad example yeah this one when you tap on something it like slowly comes out so you don't want that happening so basically what you want to do is go into your settings and now you're gonna to have to enable developer options if you haven't got it enabled yet go into about phone scroll to the bottom and there you'll see build number and keep on tapping onto this until it says I think it says congratulations you're now a developer but I'm already one so it says no need you are already a developer which I'm not but anyway so developer options click on that make sure it's on at the top and then go down until you see Windows animation scale tran um, transition animation scale and animation duration scale turn all those onto animation off it will make your phone look a lot faster as well just turn them all off and then turn off your develop no what am I saying keep those developer options on so yeah um, next tip is disable apps that you don't use so um, luckily you can disable apps uh, which are also bloatware so which come with the phone in the first place so if you don't want to use any of those uh, apps that come with your phone so for example in my case here you have fit which I've never used in my life so I'm going to go ahead and delete that by going onto your settings and then you scroll down and then you find apps yeah apps and then you go into all and then you just scroll down until you see fit and but be careful here because there are some things that you really don't want to disable so make sure you know what you're disabling so here you see fit and then you just do disable and then okay there we go it's still it's disabled to see if what is disabled the scroll once to the right and these are all the things that I have disabled if you want to know what I don't use so I got the Google Hindi input and the Google Korean input I don't think I'm ever going to use them so I kept them disabled um, next tip is number nine so you can also root your phone this is now getting a bit more advanced but basically there are loads of tutorials on how to root your phone once your phone is rooted you can go into root uninstaller and you can delete everything on your phone you can like not disable it you can uninstall it which is dangerous in a way but if you know what to uninstall um, it, you can get a lot out and uh, a lot out of it I mean and if you go into Play Store once your phone is rooted there are a lot of tutorials I'm not going to make one because there are already so many out there if you type in root all these applications that show up are all applications that you can only use with a rooted phone so basically here you have device control which gives you complete access to your um, phone titanium backup which backs up literally every single thing on your phone and you all need to have a rooted phone for this um, look into it by just typing how to root your phone uh, name and then you'll find a tutorial I've got a few tutorials on how to do with some really odd phones but they're not really popular anymore yeah anyway so uh, last now I'm not going to say what number 10 is yet but before you, I get into number 10 there are some applications that you can use which yeah which will uh, help save battery life so basically advanced task killer is one of my favorites which I've always had so you just go on to here okay and then you can just check all the things that you don't want and then at the top we have a kill selected apps button which is amazing which just disables everything so that's what you want to have uh, if you go into the settings of advanced task killer uh, menu settings and then you can do auto uh, oh yeah auto kill no what is it um, so the one that when you turn off your screen 
and here we go auto kill level you can change it to whatever you want safe aggressive I'll put it on aggressive now and then auto kill frequency uh, when turn screen off so every single time you turn off your screen all the apps that you don't want to have on which are here you can say what every single time yeah you, you turn off your screen uh, Clean Master is a really popular one on, pop, uh, on the App Store. Unfortunately, I don't think it is the best one out there because it uses a lot of battery because it's always in your face, it's always sending you notifications. But just download it anyway and do everything that it says, like check now, so pri yeah, your privacy is at risk. Um, just clean all your junk files, it cleans out everything, and then after that, I think you should uninstall it because it uses loads and loads and loads of like information of your phone, and I don't, I don't trust it. So I don't. I'm going to delete it after this. So basically here, clean all that junk. And that's how you can uh, clear out a lot of space. So uh, the last tip I have for you guys is if all this doesn't work and yeah, there's a high chance, high probability that if you're looking at this video that your phone is already in a pretty bad state, that means that it isn't up to your software that's draining all your battery, but it's actually up to your battery itself. So I've made a tutorial, which I'll be probably playing now on how to uh, change your battery on your Google Nexus 5. If you don't have a Google Nexus 5, just go into another video and type how to change your battery. Or if you have like one of those easy replaceable batteries, like on the S5 or on the S3 or on the S4, you can just simply uh, take it off, like just like that. So if you've got a Google Nexus 5, uh, click on the whatever it is now, and you'll be able to go into the next video to change your battery. It's really really simple. Like it looks hard, but it isn't. And yeah, um, uh, hopefully this would solve your battery draining problem. Um, the last thing I can say is just make sure you use as fewer apps as possible because the more apps you use, the more battery drainage there will be because each app uses battery in the background without you knowing it and they will always try and push notifications through and all that. So for example, Facebook, I don't have the application because it uses so much battery. So all I do is I go into the Chrome and then I go onto facebook.com, which is just as good, and it doesn't send me all those notifications all the time. Just Messenger and WhatsApp I kept because they, yeah, I use these all the time, so these are pretty, pretty important to me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time.